Oh. It is a little crooked. But today we're going to be using more Pinoco switches. Because I really like Pinoco switches. So we've decided to use more of them, dude. Ooh, so case is pretty fire. The case is pretty nice with this little box, you know. My finicky cable, no one worry. Oh, how'd your interview go? Inflector, how are you, Oak? How are you doing, dude? Anyone order the Thera 75? I wonder how they compare. I have a Thera here too, so we can compare at the very end. Yeah, you know what, Forskin, I agree. Uh, so here's what's inside this. A lot of gaskets in which I don't know where all these things go, but there's even some circular ones. I don't know. I'll figure it out once we open everything up. That's a lot of gaskets. Uh, can you compare this to the Ginkgo? Yes, totally. Um, daughter board, I think. With a very, oh, this has a very small ribbon cable. So I actually really haven't opened this yet, guys. I opened it briefly just to see what was inside. Um, so this is a hot swap board, I'm assuming. Yes, it is a hot swap PCB. I d actually tested the PCB and forgot to actually check if it was hot swap. Or rather, don't remember because I've had this for a little while in my house. Those are the standoffs. As you guys know, I'm probably not going to use them to be completely honest with you guys, but we're going to keep them to the side. Packaging is be definitely better. I'd say it's pretty good. Um, these, which are the stabilizer shims, I'm not going to use these either. Uh, then we have feet and more gaskets. This was also interesting too, an alcohol wipe. I don't know what that's for. It's for something, I just, I don't know. So we're just gonna put this to the side. And then, hey Vex up, how you doing? And then we have the actual keyboard itself. Which we'll put this down over here. And here we go. So this I actually, is the only piece I've really looked at. And here is the bubble. Oh, thank you, dude. Vexop, yes. thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it, dude. Here is the Vexop. So it looks like we got a polycarbonate plate. Uh, all the foams inside here, I actually have not opened it yet, though. So we'll open it together. So this is my first time looking at it with you guys as well. Move this keyboard all the way up there. That is the bubble. Is it heavy? It has some weight to it. That is oh, the back you, of the dude. bubble. TY Lurks, thank you so much for the prime, dude. I appreciate it. How you doing, Mother Thockers? I'm doing pretty good, Bandit. How about you? And then we have... Oh, so this is a left-sided... See, this is always the interesting part to me. Um, again, because I really haven't looked into the case all too much. It's, it's, just, it's just very interesting how like you'd have like a daughter board and then decide to go for like a left or a right instead of like a center line. Not that I'm mad at it for doing so, because I feel like if you do have a coiled cable, it's a little easier to kind of put that to the right. But I do feel like it's jarring to not see center aligned these days. What do you, I mean like ultimately, what do you guys prefer? And thank you guys for the subs, I appreciate you guys. What do you guys prefer here? I don't know. I definitely think I prefer center on most things. Center for you too. I love left line. Yeah, and see like this is where it's definitely interesting to see more people's perspectives on things too. But let's actually open this up. Actually, let's put the feet on first. I prefer center right, left line 100%. Interesting. I honestly don't mind where this USB comes out. Interesting. This board is definitely gonna be one of those boards where we have tons. What is this? These are more gaskets of some sort. All right, so this is a screwless design too. As you guys can see, there's no screws on the bottom. So no screws here. Don't you love the chamfered edges? I mean, yeah, they're pretty nice. I have to admit, like the whole board, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the, the weight isn't my cup of tea. Like I don't love this. I like that it's centered. It's a bubble. I mean, like it is what it is. It's not like my aesthetic, I guess. However, the rest of the board's nice. It has a pretty nice like side to it. We'll, we'll switch cameras here. 
This is pretty nice over here. You know, the top piece. I like the fact that it's screwless. Left aligned. The top's pretty nice too. Um, okay, let's open this guy up. Quality of this is pretty good. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. I don't see any blemishes anywhere. Oh, Just some fingerprints you. of my own accord here. No Stromo, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. So pretty good, pretty good. I don't see anything. So the coating for this, I'm assuming this is an E coat. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, I don't see anything bad there. I can't really speak on the other colors, obviously. Oh wow, there's like, I'm actually, this is interesting. So there's flex cut here and the flex cut here. So not quite as much as we saw on the jelly. Interesting. And then we have only support for, I think it's 6.25U. So maybe we only have support for, yep. We only have support for 6.25U on the hot swap PCB. Alex, what do you think of the absolute best switch you can put in the Bakaneko? That's tough. I actually, you know what? I think alpacas would be a great choice for the Bakaneko. I think, again, I'm speaking from my preference with sound profiles, but I think the alpacas would sound really nice. Um, and I think if you want to get a louder clack, you probably want to go with something like long pole stemmed uh, or long stem poles, whatever you want to call them. I think the, uh, the raids would be a great choice in that case. That's what I that's what I personally think. So I'd say go with those. Hey Alex, do you, uh, do you think HXTBZ is good? I think it's great. I haven't really been using mine lately just cause like I have so much dielectric race. To me, they both feel and sound the same. I will say, I will say that XHTBDZ is supposed to last longer. Um, so if you're not interested in like retuning stabs in the future, I'd probably go with the XHT. Yeah, and BZ stuff's a little bit more messy.
What year did you get into keyboards? Dude, I actually found out the exact year I started getting into boards. Um, the year I started getting interested in keyboards, I, for some reason I thought it was three years ago, but it was 2016. That's when I started getting into like mechanical keyboards and I started looking into it, but I didn't buy my first keyboard until like late, or uh, mid 2018, I think. And then I started like getting really into the hobby. That's when I started getting really into it. Key boomer. Oh my God. Uh, I feel like I always need to at least at least a hot swap PCB for my boards. I can't, I mean like, I excuse me, I really love hot swap. I can only desolder a limited number of times for the risk is too high. Yeah, like I love hot swap stuff. I have no quarrels with anything hot swap. Um, you know, if I like the layout too, then it's even better for me. But yeah, I have no problems with going hot swap myself. It's nice to solder, like it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's really fun to, to solder things, but you know. Again, not too sure how sold I am on all these different si sized gaskets. This is a little odd, but they are very plush and I have to give them that. They are very plush gaskets. Yeah, build for this is definitely definitely could use a few improvements from a build quality standpoint or um, build experience standpoint. Oh, this is even a little annoying.
let's just unplug it for now. I don't like the way it looks with the RGB. I'll figure out the keys later. All right, guys, shall we do a sound test? So, all in all, I think there's some definite merit to this board. I think it, uh, I did not like the little ribbon cable. I think that was a big pain in the butt. The feet, I feel like the feet could be a little bit more premium. I mean, I mean it kind of fits the bubble name though. It has these like bubble feet. The weight's whatever on it. Um, the top looks pretty nice. I like this look. It's very nice aesthetically here. So I do have to admit, I kind of changed my, my liking on this. Show weight. So that's the weight on this guy. Just a little bubble. Actually, you know what? It's not too bad. I take that back. It's actually kind of cute. It's actually kind of cute though. Very cute. Side profiles, whatever too. Um, it's a screwless design, which is pretty interesting. Um, inclusion of a lot of foam. That's love or hate. You guys can love it or hate it. You're cute. Thank you, dude. Uh, but yeah, and then the only thing I did not like was the ribbon cable again. But let's hear how this sounds and feels. It is a little too good. Not what I thought it would be at all. I thought this would be like a marbly sound. This is actually quite nice. This is flexy though. This is super soft to type on. Very nice backspace. Yeah, it's pretty soft. Actually, you know what? I will say for something with so much foam i actually think this has a really nice clack to it i don't think this is is this pe foam or is this supposed to be something else eva dampener ah okay so it's not actually p it's eva you know what let me do this again it's eva foam yeah I kind of like this.